Camping for night, ten dada. Entrance fees will be collected as you exit. Oh, okay. Please continue and collect it as you exit. Devil's Tower, also known as Bear Lodge, was the first national monument created by President Theodore Roosevelt in 1906. It is a butte of hardened lava that started inside the earth. Thousands of years later, the sedimentary rock and dirt had eroded, leaving the tower like it is today. There are six different Native American tribes with connections to the tower. Arapaho, Cheyenne, Crow, Kiowa, Lakota, and Shoshone each having their own sacred narratives that explain its heights and the reasons for its column or joints which give it its pleated appearance, many of them involving a gigantic bear with sharp claws chasing seven hunters or sisters who are saved by a rising and expanding tree trunk. Native Americans called the Butte Bear Lodge, but in 1875 Colonel Richard Dodge's interpreter missed translated it as Bad God's Tower, leading to the name Devil's Tower. Since 2005, Native Americans have tried to rectify the mistake on several occasions. It is still an ongoing controversy. A few facts about Devil's Tower. The butte looks green due to lichen growing on the tower. The tower is 867 feet high and covers 2.15 square miles. It's made of phonolite porphyry, which is a rare igneous rock. A 13-acre boulder field surrounds the butte. Lastly, 4 to 5,000 people climb the butte each year, taking an average of 5 hours. From up here. Wow. It's something. I wouldn't be surprised if you can't see clear to South Dakota.
Devil's Tower this morning and on back on the road. Where do you yep. think we'll get to today? Ed? We're shooting for the Bighorn National Forest just uh, the other side of Buffalo. What did about you? About 200 miles. Okay. What do you think of Devil's Tower? I thought it was impressive. It's worth a stop see. It's probably, unless we've got somebody that hasn't seen it, we probably won't stop that often unless we just need an overnight because the campground was really, for 10 bucks, you know, it was good. They had flush toilets running some water, no hookups, but it was easy to get into, level sites, you know, pretty area, pretty part of Wyoming. It really was. Uh, and like Bill says, I don't know that you would center your entire vacation around it, but it would make a great stop. stop. It's really just a one-day stop uh, unless you just really have a lot of things that you want to do, like in Sundance or some... Yeah, or if you want to do hike more of the trails around mm -hmm. the tower. Or climb. Yeah, yeah. if you want to climb the tower. <laughs> yeah. But it's a great stop on the way to uh, Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. Or you could do uh, Mount Rushmore. Mm -hmm. Custer State Park, yep. uh, Badlands, all those things are around here, so it, it wouldn't be a bad stop among many. Right. 